I want to know what I've noticed, Jack. What's that? Is you haven't asked for me to do any sort of edits this entire time, and you said before we started. I haven't had a chance. Like do shit. You, do you even know what you would tell me to edit in? I don't know at this point. I'll come up with something. I promise. Okay. Sounds good. Thought I saw a veteran and I accidentally threw a grenade. That's all I need to fight are veterans, and I gotta find these barrels. All right. And I believe the veterans were upstairs in that little corner, if you recall a few episodes ago. No, I'm not flashing back to it. I wasn't going to ask you to. See, I don't like to be predictable, Michael. <laughs> There's it's, a veteran here. It's not your style. Oh, shit, we need to crew up so you get credit. Yeah, send me a crew invite. I'm fighting a veteran right now. So how's the college life, man? Oh, it's a grind. But it's not that bad. Classes what about you? Taken. Um, I'm taking communications classes this semester. I just Lovely. changed from digital sciences last semester. Oh fuck, dude! I'm fuck. getting attacked from down below. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm getting attacked by someone that's below me. Okay, then go down. <laughs> um, I bet it's because of something with grenades. That's funny. Let's fuck. go. That's really dumb. I think it's this guy. Oh shit. God damn it, I just fall through the ceiling. Grenades are really hard to handle. Uh, at least you have them. I know. Fuck. How am I supposed to hit him if he's in the wall? Okay, I think I think we're good. Yeah, you got him. And I got a skill point. Ah, cool, I got determination, which will increase my health recovery while I harm myself every time I throw a grenade. <laughs> this game really thought like, of everything. I got jumping did. slash. One, two, three. Alright, I'm back upstairs. Fighting more of these fuckos. You know, I don't know how realistic it is, Michael, to actually throw a grenade at someone. It's quite unrealistic, but you gotta remember we're pirates, so... So not exactly assholes. realistic to begin with. <laughs> hey, you. Here's a grenade. Not dead yet? Okay, here's another one. I'll keep throwing them. I got all day. <laughs> Forgot I have to search barrels and crates. So I guess I'll do that while we wait for these fuckos to respond. Mm -hmm, Alright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, you're singing, humming, whatever, some Star Wars. Yeah, that's because... Uh, I heard the music just a moment ago. I love the... Okay. Michael, I know you said you don't watch a lot of movies, but of the movies that you have watched, uh, could you could you think of your favorite soundtrack? Uh... Or, or, like, score, I guess? Like, the Star Wars score is really catchy. And we mentioned Back to the Future earlier. That's also a very catchy one. Let's see... I'll have to think about that, but Lord I, of the Rings is really good. I do have a favorite um, music score from a game. Oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, Persona Five. Um, I don't think I've heard it. You've never heard of the Persona series? No. I think you'd actually like it, even so you're not really big into anime. You think? Yeah, it's what, what what kind of game is it? It's a JRPG where it, it's like half social sim, half JRPG. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I uh, got all the trophies and everything in it. Oh god. How many games are in the series? Um there's more than 5, but that's kind of stretching far back. Mhm. Mm and plus there's like a lot of spin-offs for each one. Hmm. Like, there's gonna be a dancing game for this one. A dancing game? I'm I'm not joking at all. That's funny. That's like when Star Wars Connect came out. Oh, and it, like half the game was the, it was just a Just Dance clone. <laughs> it's terrible, dude. Yeah. I was actually talking about that with my coworkers, saying how terrible it was. Star Wars Connect? Yeah. Yeah, it was really. I owned it. It was not great. I never <laughs> owned just... it because I didn't have an Xbox 360. Yeah. But 
I heard it was pretty trash. It was really bad, and like, the campaign mode was really shitty, but the worst part of it was that you could literally just sit there and swing your hand around, and uh, y you could get through the entire game that way. That's terrible. Yeah. There's no fun in that. No. These level 14 guys are grayed out for me. I cannot believe that we've come this far. I'm two levels ahead of you, by the way. Shut up, Michael. <laughs> I didn't want you to point that out. Michael, I want you to edit my my name tag to say that I'm level 24. Uh, okay, go stand ahead. still. Stand still. Go ahead and, go ahead and do that. Uh, right, right here. Yeah, right there. There you go. Yeah, and then make that the thumbnail. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Michael, it's past my bedtime. <laughs> Let's hop downstairs and uh, okay, and see what crates and barrels I can find. I only need one more veteran, so I don't think we need to be up there anymore. All right, yeah, that's enough barrel. veterans. Now I just have to find barrels and one more crate. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, don't attack me. Fuck! Like you, God damn it. He did, he did not like that. No, he, he he really didn't. Here, I'll wait for him to respawn and then use taunt. I wish you did that the first time. Okay, well, I didn't see him there. Come and get me, shithead. Uh, Alright. Did what you I get can... it? Yeah. Let me see what I can find over here. Okay. Because I remember we had to search uh, Fort Dundee for the grenade quest that you never finished so I'm trying to <laughs> shut up i'm just trying to recall where things were i've said this many times but i think my favorite location in this game will always be fort charles yeah because it's so iconic i've been there a lot playing this when i was younger um mm -hmm. uh, with everyone else just just grinding and just murdering well, people plus i think it's really cool that they based it off of the uh I mean, obviously, all of Port Royal is based off of the movie, but yeah, Port Charles specifically was in like the first scene of the first movie. That is true. It's pretty iconic. Shit! Don't interrupt me, you fucker. Damn it! Fuck! Yeah, what are you attack. even collecting? What are you collecting from these barrels, Michael? Coconuts. <laughs> Coconuts. Out of all things, I'm connecting <laughs> or collecting. Hey, stay the stay the fuck away from my coconuts. That's pretty much what went down, I mean. Hey, you see this guy trying to steal our coconuts? Honestly, man. What an asshole. You know what one of the the pro tips for this game should be? What? In the, in the loading screen? Don't steal should a man's don't, coconuts. Don't steal a man's coconuts. No, don't run with a sword. I don't think you should be allowed to do that. Don't run with your weapon out? Yeah. See, if this game were hyper-realistic... That would be a potential consequence. You could be running with your sword and there's like a 5% chance that you fall and just impale yourself. <laughs> I mean, pirates are supposed to be like drunk all the time, right? Like, just Yeah, exactly. Completely. <laughs> this is com not safe. They're clumsy, so. All right, I got all the and coconuts. Again, I, I think there were several times in the movies where Jack Sparrow was running around with his sword out. so. And he probably hella fell. But because it's a Disney movie, he wasn't impaled. Yeah. Jack, I have a random question for you. Sure. And I want a serious answer, all right? No, I refuse. All right. Go ahead. So, let's say you wake up uh, after a good night's sleep. It's morning. Okay. And you find out that you've been turned into a woman. <laughs> what do you do? Is this a dream you had, Michael? No, 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 no. This is like a common thing I ask people for some weird-ass reason. Hmm. It's a good question, Michael. It is, isn't it? And by that, I mean it's a very odd question. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I don't know. I've never given that any thought. Like, like you've never thought about what I, would happen I, if you were given an unwanted sex change. Yeah, exactly. I, that thought never really occurred to me. Hmm. I guess I'd feel myself up. God like, what would damn you do? it! Why? It's terrible, Dean. <laughs> How is that? It's my body. Good my point. body, my choice. No, you want to know what I would do if I woke up after a good night's sleep and I had, I had 
female genitalia. <laughs> what would you do? I would immediately get pregnant and then have an abortion. Well, why? <laughs> what? I don't know. So for you'd, feminism. you'd let a man. You'd let a man fuck you. I would seek it out. In fact, I would tell him. I'd go up. I'd be like, "Hey, I want to get pregnant. So let's do this. No condom. You know, no protection." What the hell? <sighs> And then I'd get it aborted. No, I'm just kidding. I'm like, just trying to get this video demonetized. <laughs> it's none of these videos will ever get demonetized because they're pirates online videos. Unless oh, we talk about on. something so bad. Like worse um, than anything we've ever talked about. We could do that. Let's not <laughs> no, and say kidding. we did. Fine. Well, well what I don't know I what would, would you do, do Michael. What I besides would besides get an abortion. I'd probably scream. And I'd ask for help because I, you know, being out, being without my wiener, man, is going to, it's going to feel a little off. Like, I'm going to be really off balance. <laughs> yeah, and you'll have tits. That too. My back is going to hurt. You know what would really fucking suck? What? If you woke, if you woke up after, after that kind of experience and you like, you're, you're really flat chested. So it's like, uh, you're, so you're, you're, you're a, you're a woman, but you're not even, like, really a woman. God damn. All what? right. Begad, you got that Singaporean rum quickly. Time to replace the voodoo rum. Best not to steal it. You'll likely end up cursed. Truth is, there are times when it's brought me a streak of good luck. Other times, not so much. If I were ye, I'd ask Romany again about how to make a batch. Ah, uh, good old Romany Bev. But yeah, I'd probably just like hella scream and just be really confused if I was a woman. Michael, haven't you learned in life that you just need to roll with the punches? No. <laughs> I've learned to if, tell people. If you wake up one I morning and God decide and God decides that he wants to give you female genitalia, you need to accept that that's his plan for you. Well, God can go eat my ass because I didn't want to be a woman. Maybe he turned you into a woman so that he could eat your ass. <laughs> It was the perfect ploy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Romany Bev, what, what do I have to do now? Oh, fuck. Oh, it's you again, Voodoo Rum, you say? You were playing with some dark magic here. Better hope it won't be haunting you back. Get me those ingredients and I'll see what I can do. So, I need to recover a barrel of cursed dark sugar from a Navy Monarch ship. Two barrels Ooh. of dead or dread bitters from EITC Marauders. Ooh. A cursed or cursed barnacles from a revenant ship. So, oh my God. I'm not sailing again. Yeah, fuck all that. We're we're done for the day. Hey, uh, this was this was a much shorter session than the previous one. That one was terribly long. We 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 accomplished almost nothing. <laughs> we're actually at 69 percent for the gunner quest, so we're almost oh, really? done with him. Nice. I was told that his are probably the worst because of all the sailing we have to do, but yeah, we're almost it done. It's not that bad when you have a friend with a war brig, huh? Most definitely. And then after that, there's only three more guys that we need to recruit, and then we can fucking take back the Black Pearl, and we're done with this playthrough. Oh, I think. Michael. I hope. Come back. I mean, I won't have anything to do. I don't know about you. I still have to get my grenades. <laughs> You should try working on that. Yeah. All right. I'll do my own playthrough. All right, guys, yet it's again. It's just me turning in the grenades quest. <laughs> <laughs> again, guys, if you would like to join our guild, let me promote you, by the way. I don't know how to do that. Guild options. Make me an officer. Show members. How the fuck do I promote you? Uh, I don't know. I think you have to go into the... I, I feel like... Oh, um... you can click on my name card, I think. And then click the the guild thing should change to guild options and you can promote. I think. Oh wait, it's just it still says guild invite, but yeah, click it. Wait, oh fuck. Okay. No oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Now you're an officer. All right. Not sure what that entails. All right. But... There's gonna. Oh, we got approved. We did. Yeah. That doesn't show for me though. When you promoted me, it it changed. Oh, it didn't for what me. What the fuck? Do you see it on my name tag? It says the Dinkelberg. No, no, it says uh, Pirate Guild. Oh, that must be a client-sided thing. That's weird. Damn, dude. 
You got me all excited. But guys, Shit. if if you're interested in joining our guild, the Dinkelbergs, which I hope that name is accepted. It did. It just got accepted. I hope it did. I'm dude. Maybe... If you, I guarantee, if you log off and back in right now, it'll show. All right, I'll do it. But yeah, guys, okay. if you want to join the guild, there's the code yet again. Just type that in somewhere. I don't know where, but some some sort of code that you could probably use to join. Let me log out and log back in and see if it was truly accepted. I hope it is. We're the Dinklebergs. But before we end the session, do you have anything else you want to say or talk about, Jack? I was joking about the abortion thing, obviously. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't have me really edit anything in. You you were scaring me before we started. I was, I was getting really <laughs> yeah, scared. Yeah, I, I told Michael before we started I had a whole list of things for him to edit. <laughs> no, it still says Pirate Guild, whatever. Not the fuck. Oh well. That's weird. Oh well. Alright. says the Dinklebergs. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed these episodes of The Legend of Pirates Online, make sure you hit that dope ass like button because I'm, I'm still getting attacked by. Uh, <laughs> by... Yeah, see, see, let's see if we can get this video up to five likes to counteract <laughs> the other 230. <laughs> exactly, <likes>. dude. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for some more of that dank ass pirates content with uh, that sweet pirate ass with your boy Jack and your other boy Michael. Michael. <laughs> All right, thanks again for coming on, Jack. No problem. Peace out, dude. See you guys.